remind you of the scripture in John. John uh, Christ was talking to Thomas. And he was saying, I'm leaving, I'm going to go to my father. And Thomas was saying, but if you leave, we don't know the way. And you remember what Christ said? Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, Jesus said he's the way. So every way, right, has a destination. So he said, I'm the way. And then he said, no one comes to the Father through me. So the destination was who? The Father. The original problem of mankind is what? Fatherlessness. Correct. Mm -hmm. They lost their father. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So Jesus' ultimate goal in dying, in resurrecting, Returning. in coming to earth and preaching the gospel, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand, is to bring you back to what? The kingdom of your father. Perfect. Mm -hmm. In other words, the good news ultimately was you are in the kingdom of your Father, you're not an orphan anymore. You're, you won't have to be lost anymore. Yeah. There is one to protect you. There is one to guide you. There is one to complete you. It, we don't know what father means. Perfect. F father means, father in Hebrew is Abba, or in Greek it's pater. It means source and sustainer. So from God came everything, including you, including 500 million galaxies including every form of microbiology and you know flora fauna you name it it all came from him there is nothing outside god everything was in god amen and and god brought everything out of him so he's the source he's the originator he's the start of it all amen and as, and not only is the start of it all but as a father he says i what i created what seeds I brought forth, I will nurture them. I will sustain them. I will maintain them. I will bring them the full what? Development. This is your father. This is why if you truly understand his name, you knew that he had to find a way. Amen. Because once his children got lost and they're all set for destruction, he had to find a way to sustain them and to bring them back to what? The mark. Amen. Good fathers always complete what they be. Yeah. Amen. This is our father. You know, part of trusting God is knowing his character, knowing what he's like. Because there's going to be times where you think, there's no way I'm going to get out of this. There's no way I'm going to finish. And God goes, I'll never give you more than you can handle. Amen. Amen. Your, your victory is already predestined. You just have to trust me to open your eyes. Because my son is what? The way back to me. If you just hang on to him, Christ is like a heat-seeking missile. He's guaranteed to bring you back to what? Your father. Because all of man's problems originated because they lost what? Yeah. The father. God created Adam. Out of Adam came Eve. Out of Adam and Eve came civilization. World history in three seconds. Adam was the first father. Eve was the first mother. Amen. But when Adam rebelled, the father of the first father was, was what? Separated. Yeah. And fathers, and Adam as a father could only give what he had what? Received. And when there was no father in place to father the first father, because Adam was the father of what? Everybody. Satan goes, I'll be your stepfather. <laughs> Let me step in. <laughs> It's like the evil stepfather. <laughs> he steps in, he starts to fondle Adam. Just to mess with Adam. And God is grieving. But he said, I'm going to find a way back because of my name. I will find a way to reconnect and sustain you. Because that's who I am. And that was the mystery. The mystery was, how is God going to do this? This is the story of the gospel. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave up his only unique begotten Son, that whoever believes in, trusts in, clings to, relies in him, shall not perish, come to destruction, be lost, but have eternal, everlasting life. Now that's a mouthful, but I want you to pull out three things from here. 
The first thing is that we were all set to perish, to be destroyed. We were all lost. Once Adam separated, Satan was brilliant. He struck at the source. He separated Adam from its source. And there's a principle in all creation. If you separate from the source that sustains you, you will weaken and die. So if you separate a fish from water, it will weaken and die. If you separate a bird from the air, it will weaken and die. Once man was separated from the presence of God, he started to weaken and die. That's when Satan came. Satan does not fight you at your strongest. He fights you at what? You're weakened. When you were lost, now he can lead you. When you were perishing, now he can accelerate it. We were all separate. We were like all we were like this cell phone disconnected from the charger and our battery was dying. And Satan's like, let me help you sin because you're lost. You don't know up from down, left, you don't know your left hand from your right hand. And let me make you so commit sin, because God is a God of righteousness, that God himself will have to destroy you. Because what manufacturer creates a product and keeps it around if it totally malfunctions or rebels against them? If you buy a car and that car is constantly breaking down and exploding in your face, will you send it to the junkyard or will you keep it and pass it on to your children? You will destroy it. And Satan knew this. So he got man to sin, so God would have to what? Destroy him. Because God has his own laws for creation. Anything I create, it can't go against me. Amen? That was God's law. You can't fight me because I am the king of all the universe. I've set principles, rules, standards of life in place. I can't have something destroying life because I am the God of life and I made life for the living. Amen? So, so we were all set to be destroyed. This is the beginning. This is the fall of man. This is the separation of the first father from what? The great father. The father of all fathers. Amen? Once this happened, man was like, he lost his identity. And this is what Pastor Fraser was talking about. Your identity is determined by your source. Right? We know this in a physical way because in the Bible it says James, son of Zebedee. Perfect. It goes David, son of Jesse. Amen? It goes um, Luther, son of Fraser. So you always refer to the male... For what? The identity. The father. The father is the leader of the family. He, he's the foundation. Adam came what? First. He sets the tone. He sets the lead. Amen? He's the source because from him comes the seed. The seed is the active principle. The seed, has, the sperm has to swim up the canal. The, the egg is, is stationary, but the, but the sperm has to what? It has to do the work. It initiates things. Amen? So you draw your identity from your father. That's why when Christ came, they tried to label him this way. They said, oh, you're Jesus, son of Joseph. And he said, I'm the Christ, the son of what? God. Amen. Your last name is Christ now. Perfect. Your last name is Christ. Hallelujah. And that's what God... If, if you don't connect back to the father, you will continue to be lost because you don't know where you originally came from. Everything is, is limited by where it came from. For example, if I have um, uh, uh, this stand is made out of wood, this came from what? A tree, so it's only as strong as what? Wood. Right? If this stand is made out of iron, it is as strong as what? It's source. So God is the source. And if we don't realize we come from God and God is spirit, then we will limit ourselves to this mud and not from what? Spirit, which is, has a much greater potential because it's creative, it's all powerful, it's all knowing. Amen. Hallelujah, it's all loving. You see, so this, this altar is limited by its what? Source. It's wood. It's not as strong as iron. If you think you're only made of this, or you think you're only made of, out of the, 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 the limiting program of the enemy, then you will never reach your maximum potential. Not because you're not it, but because you do not know how to operate as it. You, if you don't demand something, you never know how far it can go. If I don't realize my car can go much faster than 120 miles an hour, I will never push it to what? 200 on the Autobahn. <clears throat> if you don't realize you come from God, you will never cast out demons. You will never heal the sick. You will never love your enemies. Because you don't believe what? You can't. Wood's not as strong as iron. You are looking to the wrong what? Source. 
because you have identified with the wrong source. The evil stepfather didn't let you identify with the right thing. He never wants you to come to your right what? Potential. He wants you to be lost. He wants you to perish. And he wants you to come to what? Destruction. But though we were lost and, 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 and ready for destruction and perishing, God sent his what? Son to save us. That's why anytime you feel lost, anytime you feel you're going to be destroyed, anytime you feel you're perishing, decaying, dwindling, it's like the blood leaking out of you. Who do you lean on? The Son. Because he is the one to bring you back to your source and your what? Sustain her. I don't know about you. Life is hard. Sometimes you need, just need someone to what? Sustain. Amen. Christ said, my yoke is what? Light. My burden is easy. Come back to me so I can what? Sustain you. You are perishing. You are decaying. You are set for destruction. The path you're on, you keep walking, you're going over the cliff. But though you are like that, God sent His Son. Why? Because of His great love. Because He dearly prized us. Amen? That alone is enough to praise Him. We're all set to be lost, destroyed, perish. God sent His Son. Why? Because He loved us. This is God's great motive. This is what's behind all the flash. Behind the smoke on the fiery mountain. Behind the Grand Canyon and all the miracles is what? His love. That's underneath all the robes of the judge and the righteous one and the king and the creator of it all. It's a father's what? Amen. Love. Amen. You know, ever ever see little children? Like I'm fucking young children. When they're on their father's breast and they're walking through the crowd, it could be like a crazy rock concert. But because the father is against the child is against the father's breath, it's that perfect what? Peace. The minute you separate, it's like ah! <laughs> ever notice that? <laughs> Instinctively, in the Father's presence, we start to what? We start to rest. We, we drop off all the, 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 the graveyard clothes. We drop off all the facade. We stop pretending. Do you know what I mean? We just realize our true state, even if it's messed up. And typically, we're typically lost. We're typically destroying ourselves and others. And typically, we're dying in some way. Amen. And the first thing God says, okay, I need to stop the blood loss. I need to heal you. And just sustain you at that level for a while. So I can strengthen you. Strengthen you. I like, there's an amazing line, John 20, 17. Christ is, is resurrected. He's ready to go back. It's just before Pentecost. And he goes, I am returning to my Father, which is your Father. Amen. And I'm returning to my God, which is what? Your God. Because I have finished my mission. To reconcile the hearts of the children back to what? The Father. I've made the way. You can follow me or you can what? Not. But the road is what? There. It's been paved. Hallelujah. Among these, we as well as you once lived and conducted ourselves in the passions of our flesh. Our behavior governed by our corrupt and sensual nature, obeying the impulses of the flesh and the thoughts of the mind, our cravings dictated by our senses and our dark imaginings. And this is what happened to Adam when he separated from his father. Satan, the evil stepfather, gave him all sorts of dark imaginations. He, his senses woke up because he had no revelation. Of God. You only had the information of the world. And we'll talk about that in a second. We were then by nature children of God's wrath. So once Satan separated you from man through disobedience, Satan programmed you with an alternate nature. We were then by nature children of God's wrath and heirs of his indignation. So the only thing we were going to inherit was destruction, like the rest of mankind. But God, so rich is he in his mercy. So though we were corrupted, though everything, every impulse of our bodies and every thought of our mind and every imagination of our mind and every emotion we had was for evil. God said in the days of Noah, every imagination was what? For evil. It was totally against God. All the standards of God, Satan had what? Gone against. 
He had done such a good job as the stepfather. Because remember, sons always follow what? Their fathers. Children always imitate what? Their fathers. Mm -hmm. To solve the problem, we have to go for the leaders, and we have to go for what? The family. Mm -hmm. Because Satan struck the family. Because the family grows up the children. The children grow up to be what? Leaders. And between these two extremes, the leaders and the family, everything else is just what? A result. A result. You see, until you have fathers that can bring you back to the father to be the foundations, amen, to set the standards, how can the ship be steered properly? Amen. A building is only destroyed when the foundation is what? Crap. Courtney's a builder. You can, you can wreck the window, wreck the first floor, wreck the roof, but the government won't tear it down. But when the foundation is struck, guess what? Everything is torn down. The foundation of the family and civilization was Adam. He was the lead. He was the first. He was supposed to guard, tend, protect Eve. He messed up. When Eve bit the, bit the apple, nothing happened. Nothing happened. It's only when what? Adam bit the apple. In other words, God was like, you should have been in charge. But Adam what? Messed up. I was a teacher. When I messed up, the prince, when, I, when, the, when the students would mess up, the, the, the principal doesn't go to the students. Who does he go to? You. <laughs> when this church messes up, you, you, think, you think God goes to me? Oh, he goes to what? <laughs> the father of this church. <laughs> the father is accountable. And when the father messes up, like, one of the biggest problems in our world right now is fathers that are what? Messed up. And they're not messed up because they're bad. They're messed up because they've never had a father figure. How did they know how to father? All, listen, I'm sorry. There's only two fathers. Your stepfather or your real father. There's only two fathers. Christ, Christ said, your father's not God. Your father's the devil. I'm sorry. There's only two fathers. There's only two. And so there's only two sources that Emma taints. One the sin and death and one of life. I still have characteristics of my father to this day. My, my father used to have this thing where he used to check the lock on the door eight times. <laughs> I, I, to this day, I'll check the door, I'll walk away, I'll check the door. I don't even, I'm, what am I doing? <laughs> I watched my father do it so many times that I just, Out of I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. You, you pick up. You, you are just a sponge when you're born. Perfect. Hallelujah. And the father is the head of the family. He sets the tone, the identity, the principles, the moral behavior, the habits, the tendencies. Hallelujah. So God, so when the fathers can't be responsible and the foundation is cracked, God's going to wipe out the whole thing. And that's why God was going to what? Tear all civilization down. Because the, the base, the foundation was what? Cracked. That's, Christ, that's why Christ had to atone for it, reset the foundation with the Holy Spirit. Cornerstone. You see? Yeah, the cornerstone. Put it up. Put that house on the rock. Amen? The husband, the father is built on the rock. Husbands love your wives. So the wives will love the children. You see? There was God. There's Christ. There's the father. There's the mother. There's the children. Amen. Amen. No other foundation you see again. That is the foundation. That's the foundation for all civil life. Satan, do you see the structure? So Satan was brilliant. He says, I'm going to separate you from your source. I'm going to separate you from what? The rock. So the foundation is standing what? On sand. It's not holding. When the storm comes, we're all going to perish. We're all going to die. We're all going to be destroyed. You have no faith. They were in the boat. And they were so used to perishing, being lost, and destroyed. Christ said, what are you doing? Why are you so afraid? Christ came to show who the father was and what a son and daughter are supposed to act like knowing they have a father. Christ came to reveal the father because only the son knows the father. Only the, the, the true son has intimacy with the true father. The prophets didn't. Christ walked this earth with it, I have a Father in heaven. He's almighty. He's all loving. He's all forgiving. He's going to cover my butt. I don't care. Right. He, he had the living knowledge of this, the revelation of this. So he was never afraid. They couldn't under, why aren't you afraid? I know the Father. And they didn't get it. His own disciples said, um, we just want you to show us the Father. And Christ yeah, said, perfect. 
I've been with you for three and a half years. If you see me, you see the Father. I only do what the Father does. I don't do my own will and pleasure. I do the pleasure of what? My Father. Amen. This is what a son or daughter is supposed to do. So the son or daughter uh, start to what? Reflect the Father. So Christ was like, I am the Father. But if you don't believe this, at least believe it on account of what? My miracles. What other? Who else could do this? Only the source of all eyes can heal what? The eyes. Perfect. Amen. Only the superior authority that even created Satan has authority over what? Satan. Perfect. Amen? Amen. Our problem with our generation is that we are not what? We don't have fathers. Amen. So no one is following. Who is anyone following? Yeah. Who is anyone imitating, copying, patterning? The blind leading the blind. The blind leading the blind. And they fall into what? A ditch. I thank God the Lord gave me there's three kinds of fathers. The physical father, spiritual fathers, and your heavenly father source.